Hello, today is uh, Thursday, September 19th, 2024. As you can see, I have my notes down here. Several days ago, I mentioned that I should uh, write my name in as a write-in candidate for president uh, due to the, uh, the uh, election year 2024 here. As I mentioned, I've uh, done that in the past where I've written my name in for um, lesser offices. Uh, and I base this on the fact that neither major candidate, both uh, international colossal heavyweights in international politics, ne neither candidate has really touched upon the issues which uh, have been very important to Americans in the past of invasion of privacy, unlawful surveillance, electronic harassment, and blacklisting. So I thought I would clarify that what I meant the other day by uh, a, a phrase like uh, blacklisting or um, electronic harassment or a phrase like uh, unlawful surveillance. Um, most, uh, well, Beginning back in um, 1985, a couple employers I was at mentioned to me that they were having uh, some difficulty employing me without receiving threats of blacklisting from other uh, businesses. Uh, these, these two employers that I mentioned here in my notes mentioned that to me. That was way back in 1985, 15 and 24, 39 years ago. That was the first that I had ever uh, heard of anything like that. I did follow that up with some research investigation of my own in 1987 with uh, some free advice from a couple uh, private investigators. In 1989, I went to the state of Wisconsin after being unemployed for six months in a row. That was my longest period of uh, um, uh, continuous unemployment at that point. And uh, the uh, unemployment specialist at the state of Wisconsin wrote the, the term blacklist on my unemployment application uh, 25 times. In fact, she signed her name after each blacklist entry, and I believe she had me uh, also initially form to show that was her, an employee of the state of Wisconsin, writing the word blacklist on my unemployment compensation application. And I think what she meant by that was uh, beginning with my employment, um, doing delivery and on uh, loading docks and in mail rooms uh, after graduating from high school in 1976 and later leading to journalism school at UW-Madison, uh, I had worked for approximately 25 different employers and um, this uh, this uh, a specialist at the unemployment compensation department in the state thought that any of those employers could have kept me uh, permanently on their payroll or uh, given me better working conditions or higher income. Another situation where this came up was when I began teaching overseas. Uh, my first uh, teaching in the large country of China in 2010 uh, my first class were, I believe, freshman students for oral English. And as I attempted to begin my first oral English uh, class uh, at the, uh, in Pindinshan City in Henan Province at the uh, University of Urban Construction, the students did interrupt initially, and I let them interrupt. And a group of students did inform the class in English that I was under some sort of invisible surveillance or invisible harassment or blacklisting that I was not always fully aware of and that there were things available to me uh, that I did not know about. So this, uh, this came from the students themselves. I did let them give their explanation and uh, then I began, uh, I had no comment on it at that time because I couldn't plan ahead for it. And then I went on teaching uh, oral English and so on. Uh, the students also gave me advice on how to, um, some advice, a little advice on how to deal with blacklisting and unfair treatment. 
Here are, uh, I mentioned the dates 2012 to 2019. I my memory isn't uh, perfectly uh, um, uh, stable on this point, but um, I know sometime between 2012 and 2019, I believe it was 2012 when I was uh, uh, getting ready to teach. Uh, oral English and other subjects at Washan College in Guangdong Province. Uh, the, I, I, as part of the process, you get a routine physical examination. And in China, like in Houston, when I started at car dealerships and security companies in Houston in 2005, uh, they sometimes have teams of medical experts examine you for a routine exam. So sometimes if you go into a doctor's office and there's just one person in there like a doctor or just two people like a doctor and his nurse, they can sort of cheat. Whereas if you're examined in different rooms by different specialists, different technicians and nurses, and you have uh, lines of people also waiting for their physical examinations, that reduces uh, some of the cheating they found in, in China and I believe also in Houston. So uh, 2012 was one of the years I uh, was uh, examined by a, a team of uh, technicians, nurses, and doctors, different rooms, like one room for pulse rate and uh, another room for eyesight and so on. And uh, they, they informed me they also thought that I was a blacklisted individual in the United States. They had heard a rumor that I might be a mentally ill person and that I might be someone who should be permanently institutionalized, that I might have suffered some sort of psychotic collapse or mental breakdown or something like that. And um, after examining me, as is usually the case in 99% of my physicals, they found I was in good health or very good health. They did not think I was suffered from any level of uh, mental illness, uh, whether it be, you know, uh, light mental illness or schizophrenia or uh, some sort of um, serious uh, mental collapse, uh, mental breakdown. So they informed me of that, I think, the first time in 2012. They did criticize the United States that they had heard a rumor that there was um, one doctor here who was uh, apparently claiming that I had suffered some sort of complete mental breakdown and that I should be permanently institutionalized for the rest of my life. And they, they determined um, that that was, uh, seemed very unlikely or was untrue. So these are some things people might ask you, you know, just to recap. Why would you mention words like blacklists, blacklist, unlawful uh, surveillance, electronic uh, harassment, and so on? Well, here it's actually other people raising these issues with me. And as I said, the first I heard about it was when I was doing telemarketing work and marketing work at uh, Hometown uh, Heating Oil in Milwaukee in 1985 and also later when I did freelance writing for the Business Journal and both of them sort of mentioned that to me that they felt it was bad for their uh, businesses to have heard this from other people not, not from me because I didn't know about it and they were informing me that other businesses had uh, threatened them because I was uh, an employee um, on their payrolls. And again, in 1989, the unemployment compensation specialist at the state of Wisconsin writing the word blacklist 25 times on a uh, unemployment compensation application. Again, to recap, 2010 uh, uh, class of 50 college students in China, I believe either all freshmen or freshmen and sophomores, uh, opening the semester by explaining to the other students in English that I was not real aware of how invisible beams from outer space work or how uh, electronic surveillance works or um, modern day electronic blacklisting. And again, uh, at some of the, one of the physical exams, probably 2012, as I recall, for Washon College, the, do the doctors and nurses shaking their heads that I'm clearly a healthy person and not mentally ill.